this is Glennon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. Be sure to sign up for the free training, one, two, three webinars per week, directly below. Let's get to the video. I know that's what you're waiting for. 10 steps to making money online when you have no money or experience. First thing that you have to do to make money online with no experience, no money, is learn something new. Learn a new skill, learn a new way of doing things, create an improvement. There's so many ways that you can do it. There's a guy by the name of Lewis Howes. He learned how to work LinkedIn better than anyone else. And as a consequence of that, he created a career. The second way to make money online when you have no money or experience is to help as many people as possible. I don't know about you, but the more people I help, the more money I make. There are certain dynamics that go along with that. Too many to get into in this video, but make it a mission to wake up and help one person and then help two people, then help three. Whatever way that you could be a resource to another human being. I mean, seriously, believe me, it works. Another way to make money online with no experience or money is to learn how to network for real. When I say network for real, I'm talking about really, 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 really networking. Years ago, I was a member of this leads group and there was a guy by the name of Keith and we became fast friends. Keith worked for a company, Shoat Construction, that built buildings. In my work as a inside salesperson, I had in my gold mine a few people who were looking to build buildings. So when we went to the lead meeting, I said, well, call this guy. I've already called him and he's looking forward to your call. And Keith was like, okay, you know, because you, you, you hear this stuff, but you never, you know, it's like Bigfoot, the Yeti, you hear about it, but you never see it. So Keith calls him. Calls me back immediately, like uh, maybe 30 minutes after he got off the phone. He's like, they really are trying to build the building. He said, in three years of coming to these leads group, you're the only one that gave me a lead. Boom. And we became, like I said, very good friends. He threw several deals my way. I made a lot of money from just one real hookup. See, none of this, we just go meet some people. We got a party. You throw pro no, no. If you got a party full of influencers, or you have a party full of decision makers and you, you let someone in. OK, that makes sense. But just people to people and there is no connectivity. Mm, I don't like that. Don't like it. Don't like it. Learn how to really network and put people together who can help each other and you'll make a lot of money. Trust me on that. This is something many people do on the first part, but they don't do on the second part. Learn how to really jump on new trends. When Twitter came out, a bunch of people jumped on Twitter, but like eh, that many, I mean like a handful, just eh, little bitty, little minute people begin to work the platform and learn all the ins and outs of the platform and then spread that information to the rest of us. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, you name it. The early adapters and executioners made a lot of money. If you started a YouTube channel in 2006 and had some kind of theme and you were consistent and you pushed and you kept an email list, you might have two, 300,000 people on your email list and probably be making five to 20 grand a month just from that. Get in and crush the new platforms. Crush it, learn every little thing, early little hack. When I was a kid, there was these books, you know, before cell phones and everything was online. And if the new video game came out a few months later, this book would come out with all the cheat codes and hacks. Well, create your own cheat codes and hacks and say, hey, do this, do this, do that. And you can make a lot of money later. I'm talking about lots of money. Uh, there was one lady by the name of Laura Roder, and she had this thing backstage past the Twitter. And when I heard she was doing this interview, she said, yeah, we did $30,000 an hour. I was like. I'm going to listen to you some more. Another way to make money online when you have no money is to become 
aspirin to pain. Whenever I'm doing some Final Cut Pro or looking to do something in iMovie and I get stuck, come to YouTube and invariably find someone because I only need maybe 30 seconds or you know, a minute and a half. I just need to know where the hell that menu is or what to press to get this thing to drop down. I'm not looking for the full tutorial. I mean, I, I know how to work most of it. It's just when you come across those little things that drive you crazy. And then I go on YouTube and I find someone that's like, oh, now what happens? When you do that and you look at the person's video due to the new YouTube algorithm, it's just going to continue to refer that person more and more and more. More money, more money, more money. And it just doesn't work here on YouTube. It works anywhere. Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, wherever. Whatever you can do to solve pain, be that aspirin to make that headache go away, you put yourself in the driver's seat to make some moolah. Now, this is a really good way to make money. Figure out how to build the web. No, no, no. This is not the same as being an early adapter. No, no, no. There's this guy, I believe his name was Marcus um, something Pruta or something. He built plentyoffish.com. Google the story. Marcus built this site and it became ad supported and he was making millions of dollars a month just from plenty of fish. He did his research and he built his corner of the web. Now, he didn't just consume it. He built it. He was actually on the cover of Inc. magazine. I remember that. Now, I know there are many of you going like, what? I don't know how to build anything. Going back to some of the first principles of how to make money online when you have no experience, when you don't know nothing, when no one's going to help you, you have no hookup, nothing. Learn. Seriously, learn. If I can do it, and I'm not the smartest person in the room, then you could do it. It's a matter of applying yourself. For real, for real. You remember that scene in Swordfish with John Travolta and Jack Human? And the guy was like, I don't know how to drive a stick. And John Travolta had this big ass machine gun and he said, learn. Next thing you know, Jack was driving. I don't want to hear that. Once again, you're broke. You don't have any money. It's sweat equity time. It's time for you to make it happen. There is no, well, excuses. Your ass is broke. You got plenty of free time. I don't want to hear it. Once you start building the web or putting out stuff or helping people, increase your output to the power of five. And this is why. The more that you do, the more that you will learn. The more that you do, the faster that you will learn. Because especially if you're learning one of the new platforms, if you increase your time by five, you will master that platform so quick, so fast, it'll just literally blow your head off. If you're a writer and you have a blog and you're posting once a month, start posting four times a month. Or if you're posting once a week, start posting five times a week. You don't have to do this forever and ever, but I have a friend who started his, who really enhanced his YouTube channel. He did this challenge of 100 videos in 100 days. Totally took his channel to new levels. He made crazy money and I think he's doing currently like half a million a year. And it's in a niche that's not as popular as you would think because there's like a few main players because it's a hard niche. But the whole point is he drastically increased his activity and it makes a big, big difference. This is probably one of the most underrated skill sets online because there's so many people that do it. But I think if you learn this, which is number eight, learn SEO for real. Learn how to direct people on the web. If you learned SEO and how to build a net, you could probably become a billionaire. That's how important those skill sets are. Because what do we know about SEO? It constantly changes. The SEO that's in place right now is not the SEO that was in place in 2009. There are certain immutable principles that have never changed that, hey, when someone goes in Google and they're searching for something, they want to find it, that's not going to change. But the algorithm is going to change how to do it. Does content marketing work better than paper, you know, 
pay-per-click advertising. There's so many things that go into it. But if you learn SEO and copywriting, more than likely you'll never be hungry a day again in your life if you nail down those two skills. And I'm serious. Nine, learn how to sell online. And what I mean sell, and let's be clear, and don't get your eBay panties and your Amazon knickers in the wad. You're not selling on Amazon and you're not selling on eBay. What you have doing, it's a skill. It's a skill. It's called product placement. You're figuring out what people want and you're placing the product in a selling channel. Not mad at you, but it ain't selling. Just be really, really clear because... If that channel is taken away from you and you had to go out and sell, you're going to stumble and fall. So you're not selling because if you were selling and that channel was taken away from you, you would not stumble and fall. OK, so we're clear on that. It's not selling this product placement. There are people who make millions from product placement. So I'm not shitting on it, but I'm just being real with you. So once again, learn how to really sell. Now, if you're selling online. That means what I addressed in the first the principle for this one is copywriting. Learn how to do copywriting. You don't have to be the ninja of copywriting. But if you're able to develop some core skills, you can make money online with no money. I've done it. And I would say my copywriting is still in elementary school. I'm like a you know, second grade with gold stars on my stuff. I got a long way to go. But I know enough to be dangerous. And if you learn enough to be dangerous, you can make some dangerous money straight up. Now, this is another way to make money online when you have no money. Build a following in a niche, not any niche. Do a little research, but make sure it's a niche with a bunch of people and just build a following, which means you're going to have to go through steps one through ten, give, learn all this stuff and Build it with the intention to make money later because there are many people who have built massive followings and then they're like, hey, guys, can I get some money? And the crowd's like, boo, boo, hiss, hiss. Where are the pitchforks? Set his ass on fire because they had the intention of making money. But you know that you want to make money someday. So build your niche, build a following in that niche to make money later on. And this is time consuming and it takes sweat equity, but it's very real and it's very possible in today's world. So there you have it. 10 ways that you can make money online with no money. You have to work your ass off, but it's possible. Now, how cool is that? And since I'm doing this, I'm going to let you know what's going down with me. I've rearranged my business because I was a lifestyle dude. And now there are different segments of Hustlers Kung Fu. Oh, well, the company's going to have a broader name, but we'll get to that later. But essentially, for you folks who want to hustle, you'll be here. HustlersKungFu.com. For you folks who want to learn video marketing, there'll be a video marketing site. For you people who want to build an online business, there'll be an online business site. And for you folks who want to get your mind right, that will be GlendonCameron.com. More to come later. But once again, if you like the content of this video and you should be sure to get on the email list below so you'll get the hustler training make your kung fu better and you'll get these announcements as i drop all of this wonderful knowledge all right this is glendon i'll see you in the next session